Welcome back, Seth Bling here. This is my new map. It's called Skygrid. And it's a survival map for single player or multiplayer, sort of in the same vein as Skyblock. And that's where, it's, that's where it gets its name from, Skygrid. Uh, there's no goal in particular, just like Minecraft. Uh, the goal is whatever you make it. And, for example, it's possible to defeat the Ender Dragon if you want. Uh, you can build basically any type of farm you want, and they're all possible. Uh, it's very, very open-ended. It's basically just a much more challenging way to play Minecraft. So, uh, you can download the video from the video description, obviously. In this video, I'm actually going to show you sort of the basics to survive. I'm going to show you how to build a cobblestone generator. And that's what you need. That's what you really need to get going in this map. Because until you have one, you have to jump from block to block. And it's really hard to gain any altitude. That's one of the reasons why this map's so challenging. The, the block just fell down, and it's going to go all the way down to the down to the void. But I'm going to I'm going to start out with collecting wood, punching trees just like normal Minecraft. Of course, it wouldn't be Minecraft if you weren't punching trees. And I'm going to grab some cobblestone, some iron, and I'm going to make a bucket. It's going to be a whole thing and then I'll have a cobblestone generator. And then I'll leave you to it to try it try it out for yourself. It's it's actually really fun, but pretty challenging. Uh pretty nerve-wracking jumping from block to block at the beginning, that's for sure. Just because. Okay, so I have I have enough wood here now to make a, a, a stone, or a wood pickaxe, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, it's, if, if you miss the sprint, or if you sprint too far, it's very easy to just fall to your death. If you do start falling, you got you can't panic, because if it's, it's definitely possible to live, even if you start falling. Uh, also, if you take a bit of fall damage at the beginning, it's okay, because you start out with full hunger. Ooh, lapis. Can I? I can't get there with wood. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can also, if you're really skilled, you can double jump like that. Just hold down the jump, but uh, it's pretty risky too. I don't know. If you screw up, obviously bad things can happen. Okay. I can almost grab this iron beneath me. Oh, there's no block there, so I can't actually grab this stone. I wonder why there's no block there. So the grid length is uh, is four. There's three blocks in between each each of these uh, grid points, and it creates a really trippy effect. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got enough stone now for a stone pickaxe, and so I can start collecting my iron. Iron's a little bit more rare than stone, obviously. Basically any type of natural resource that you'd find somewhere on a Minecraft map, you can find in the Skygrid map. So, alright, grab another... I'm going to grab some more blocks while I'm, while I'm around, just because every type of block is useful in this. Just, just anything that you can put on the ground, and <laughs> or make a bridge out of, or anything. It's very useful. Alright, I see more, some more stone over there. It's also nice to collect some wool early on, because... Uh, having a bed is pretty critical. If you, if you die and you don't have a bed, you, you spawn again and you basically have to just kind of start over. It it really sucks. Okay, haven't fallen yet. That's good. It's very, very easy to fall. Okay, grab some more wood. And... So I've got my three iron that I need for a bucket. What else do I have around me? Sometimes you just have to take a step back and just look around. It's kind of it's kind of interesting because if you look around, you can see basically any resource you'd want in all directions, and but it's just so hard to reach actually reach them. But you have to make sure you're always gathering resources at the beginning because you'll need them. They're pretty rare. It's interesting. There's some sheep down here. Sheep and chicken. Um, okay. Well, I need eight cobblestone. That's my goal right now. I think I can make some pretty good progress on that. Yeah, there seems to be lots of stone around here. I'll grab some wool, and that'll help me make a bed. It'd also be nice to find some chests. There, there are some random chests placed around. I don't see any yet, but they have some really nice supplies. Three more cobblestone before I'm done here. The way that I made this map uh, 
was I wrote an MC Edit filter. MC Edit filters are a really nice way to basically write little plugins for MC Edit. Uh, you can write little scripts. It's very simple, very easy. And so you can you can actually download the filter that I used to create this map from the video description. And you can modify it and try it out for yourself. Alright, two more two more cobblestone and then I'm good. I'm actually almost I'm almost to the point where I don't have enough food to heal, so finding some food will also be nice. There there are plenty of melons on the map. And that's probably one of the main sources of food. Okay, one more cobblestone. We're good. <coughs> All right. I need to find water and lava. Well, there's water right here. Uh, I'm gonna grab the lava first, though. I see some over nearby, right here. There's some wool too. We'll worry about that in a bit. Oh no! <laughs> like I said, it's very easy to fall. But luckily, we fell right near some chests. That's good. I wanted to check out some chests. It's really they they usually give you a lot of building supplies. Let's see what we got. Yeah, 64 dirt. That's gonna be really useful. And a sapling. It's basically yeah, basically the only way to get saplings. It's actually a lava bucket here, so that's really lucky because we needed that. So I don't even need to use this iron for lava lava bucket. I can use it for iron to get this this diamond or whatever. Um, hopefully I don't die here. Okay. Now that I have all these supplies, <laughs> minecart with chest. Now that I have all these supplies. Uh, I can do a lot. Oh, this is this grass is really good too. It's hard to collect a lot of grass. Okay, so I need lava. I need water. Here's some lava. Um, I'd kind of love to get a bed going too. I don't want to lose all this stuff that I just got. I don't have any food still. Oh, I heard some lava. Glop. I don't know. Oh, there's a pig spawner down there. There's lots of spawners throughout the map too. Just different kinds of spawners. Um, okay. Is there any lava nearby? I don't want to take too much damage as I'm doing this, but sometimes you just have to. Alright. That's okay. I'm going to make a... Let's see. There's lava here. There's water. Uh, I think I can melt the water by just putting down a torch. So I will do that. I think I grabbed this coal. Oh, another chest. Lots of chests here. They aren't very common, but I seem to be running into a lot of them. I could grab that in a bit. So I'm going to melt down this. Actually, I could just grab some ice or some water from over there. As you can see, it's very handy to have these blocks, the, the stack of blocks that I just picked up, because you know, obviously it, if you have blocks, you can build bridges. It's pretty handy. All right, I'm gonna build a little case for a cobblestone generator here. Um, nothing too fancy. I'm not actually, I don't build a ton of cobblestone generators, so forgive me if this isn't the best design, <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna build. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put the water on one end, the lava on the other. I think it should work. I think it should work. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna place the the lava down first, I believe. Actually, no, I should. Yeah, I think I put the lava down first. And then I'm gonna go grab the water from over there. Make sure I don't fall in the meantime. It's almost night time. Be nice to have another. Uh, I see some wool down here. I could probably grab some wool pretty easily. Yeah, there's some wool right there in order to make a bed, but for now I'm just making my cobblestone generator because it's very important. So, before I place this water, I just want to. Oh, it didn't work. Eh, okay, whoops. That's good enough, I think, though. If I just. Uh, Having some trouble here. Alright. I think this should be good. So, some cobblestones falling below. Uh, don't want to run into the lava, but... Oops. This is not the best. 
Anyway, so there's a cobblestone generator. Uh, that's pretty much what you need to do to get it. You know, obviously I, I grabbed a bucket from a chest instead of uh, instead of smelting down this iron ore. So if you want to try it out for yourself, you can. There's there's a link in the video description, obviously, and I encourage you to try it. Uh, the Nether is laid out a lot like this, so it's uh, you can get the the blaze rods and actually make Ender eyes in order to attempt to take on the end the Ender Dragon. Uh, the end portal, if you press F3 and you go to X equals zero and Z equals zero, it's near the bottom of the map. That's where it is. I'm just going to tell you that uh, it's not not too hard to find, but it's still <laughs> still kind of a challenge getting there with with uh, all the ender eyes you need, and but the, getting to the end is would probably be kind of good because the end uh, the end is not in the sky grid format. The Nether is, but the end isn't. So it's probably a good source of blocks if you can if you can actually manage to kill the Ender Dragon. Though it might be kind of a challenge because it's hard to gather a lot of supplies. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend you download this for yourself and try it out. And thanks for watching.